This is the backyard brawl. These teams hate each other. Yeah. This is the kind of game that's usually close. Not tonight, sweetheart. Give me that head. <laughs> oh! College football, the backyard brawl, and tonight we are in store for a fight. Two rivals, 11 years in the making, back at it at Akershur Stadium. The energy in here is palpable, and we're about ready to go. Make a statement today, guys. It's an opportunity to show the world, okay, who we are on the national stage. They call it the backyard brawl. Well, hey, guess what? That's our backyard. You guys understand? It's been our motto for eight years. We take care of our backyard. Everybody got it? Sir. You want to know after today? Let's bring it up. Let's go. 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 Let's go. Come on, man. This is what it's all about, man. You know, to have all these alum come back. This is what Pitt is. Pitt is tradition. This is what you play for. This is what you lift the weights for in the summer. This is what you get up for during training camp. It's games like this, rivalries like this. Underneath my coat, if you can see my skin right now, it's just all goosebumps. It's all goosebumps. This crowd right now is electric. The atmosphere is absolutely overwhelming. This is what college football is all about. Swing pass to the right, and the Panthers make the tackle for a loss on the plate. Daniels to throw over the middle, incomplete. Pitt able to stop the momentum of the Mountaineers. We get our first look at the Panthers' offense, so we'll see what Frank Signetti Jr. can dial up. Pass it. Oh, caught! Oh, what a play on the pass thrown behind Jared Wayne. Forced out of the pocket. Slovis, a little high step across midfield. Do not sleep on Keaton Slovis' athleticism. So it's fourth down, and here comes the field goal unit for the Panthers. That kick is up. That kick is good. The Panthers draw first blood in the backyard brawl. There's a bubble screen, and the ball is out. And let's see who has it. Panthers have the ball. Huge. You see Marquez Williams, you see him take on the block and get the ball out. That's a fantastic play. And I'll tell you this, Rodney Hammond, he's playing with an attitude tonight. Just the speed through the hole is, is what, it's fun to watch. Give it to Hammond. Hammond pounds his way oh, down to the goal oh, line let's and go. drives into the end zone for the touchdown. The Rodney Hammond freight train. Choo-choo, baby. Watch out. I'm like trying that. to tell you. I'm like that. Just watch. I'm like, I'm like that. that. Fourth down and one at the seven. Field goal unit is out. Kick is up. The kick is good. And we, in the backyard brawl, have a tie at the end of the first half. Well... If it was excitement you bargained for, you certainly got it. This game turned into an energy drink. All we got to do is line up, communicate, and play. Yeah. You can see it from up there. We are imposing our will. So be good with eye discipline and all that. Hey, got two more quarters to go, right? Yes, okay. Told you it was going to be a fourth quarter. Do your job, and let's move the ball down the field and get into some rhythm. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Both of these teams are playing true to their DNA and who they are. And if the second half is as exciting as the first half was, we'll take it. Hunt formation for Vander Haar. Hunt is blocked. Scoop inside the five yard line. Now West Virginia can jump back into the lead quickly. Obviously the pendulum swung in the Mountaineers' favor now and Panthers need to do their part to get that momentum back. Sitting and waiting on you, okay? They're waiting, we gotta go attack. Quick out of the backfield. Pitt's defense all over it. The closing speed. You can't coach that, man. You got to work on that. You got to recruit it. John Morgan is just absolutely terrorizing West Virginia right now. There's no reason to panic. They have to stay true to who they are. They're down one score. A lot of ball game left. This is far, far, far from over. This pass over the middle, and that's Jared Wayne right to left. He breaks the tackle, 15-10, and he's hauled down from behind inside the five-yard line. Score one for the fullback, Daniel Carter. That boy, that boy, that boy, that boy. Block pass to the right, that's Rodney Hammond. Running up the field, he's free, stumbles to the 20, and is down at the 11-yard line. Bob Means with an outstanding block. First and 10 at the 
the 11-yard line. Let's give him the rock right here. Hammond off the right side. Hammond staying up. Hammond getting oh by my. the offensive line. In for a touchdown. Pitt takes the lead. That's just about sheer will. And then look at Ryan Jacoby just get on his back and continue to push him and ride him into the end zone. He said, no, nah, man, we're not going down right here. We're going in for six. Those who expected this to be a good game and could end up as one of the classics in this great series. This backyard brawl continues to be a heavyweight fight. Answer round to round, bell to bell. You knew this wasn't going to be an easy route to a victory. So you got to do some soul searching here and try to figure out a way to score some points. Across the middle is Slovis. That's a man of Kanda. Makes a man miss. There goes Izzy. Izzy. Touchdown, Pitt. Where you turn it up right here, guys. So this is the most important drive of the football game. Daniel's gonna throw on first down, goes to the sideline. It's tipped, it picked off! MJ Devonshire, he's got base, he's gonna take it to the end zone! Pittsburgh takes the lead! You have to be here! Let's go! Tip drill, baby, MJ Devonshire. I mean, Johnny on the spot. Officially back and in the books. Final score Pitt 38, West Virginia 31.